you know <laughs> what i'm learning is is this part around the the earlier bits the foundational stuff might feel hard but if you push through all of that then you slowly find your way into something that you're really passionate about and then work becomes easier and then you're sort of in flow if it were. Yes, yes, yeah. Of course it does need, it needs some resilience because it's not easy to keep going when it's yeah. tough. But I think pushing through, persevering, enduring and, and having those honest conversations with yourself. When yeah. I realized, for example, that, you know, the area of work that I really enjoyed, which is, which is global health, is yeah. not really taught in, in South Africa or in my field. It's not really taught. The, it was, I had to be aware that, you know, this is what I want to do. Sure. Um, it may not be available in my institution or in my country, but yeah. there are other places in the world where I can go and learn this. And so it was looking for those opportunities that I ended up overseas. And yeah. it, it, it was now in that space that I started to find meaning and purpose. We don't have to have the full plan figured out. In fact, often the plan, the big dream that we have doesn't end up happening. You end up going somewhere else. But it's being able to say that in five years time, this is what I want to have. This is where I want to see myself in 10 years time. It's, it's having those opportunities to, to reflect on who you are, what you want to do, where you want to go. And it's okay that I didn't go down the, the plan that I had, but I still used the skill set that I was developing uh, towards that towards what I am doing now. So, which is why I'm saying the end point isn't always the goal. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a short, you know, where do I, what, what do I want to achieve today? When you wake up, what's on my list? What do I want to accomplish over the next month? And constantly, uh, constantly revising that, but it's important to win. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I, I believe in, in, in winning because it's important to set goals that are small enough for you to achieve and, and show success so that you've got a track record of, of, of successes, no matter how small they are, you know, so it moves you away from being, you know, the big dreamer with great potential to being somebody who is constantly accomplishing new things.